We'll go through in our normal order and take any questions after Adam and Steve can start us off. Abby, um, how frustrated are you by that? It felt like there was a point to be had. Yeah, I'm, I'm frustrated, I'm disappointed with the result, but on the other hand, uh, after watching the attitude my players had today, uh, I only can say I'm proud of them. Uh, of course we need to, to improve uh, many things, but if we analyze the game uh, in the first 30 minutes, I think the, the opponent was better, they, dominate, they dominated the game, they dominated the possession, they created two clear chances, the crossbar and the save from Ilian. But after that moment, I think we grow up we, with the ball, with the possession, creating as well some chances. And in the second half was something similar. Uh, they had their moments, the, the, the goal came from a corner kick and uh, we tried, we tried until the end, the, 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 the team showed character, showed attitude and nothing, that, that's it. It, it. it was the difference today in my opinion, the, the, the corner kick and I, I can't say anything else. But it was a day where you had started well having, you felt that Chelsea would <coughs> yeah. Why couldn't you start well? Was it just down to them playing well, or did you not play? Yeah, we try. Like yeah, we try to be aggressive from the beginning. It's true. Uh, we we didn't know with security if they play with four, with three at back, and we manage all these op options. And we try to adjust during the game. And I think we did it well. We did it well. Uh, they are playing at home, they showed they need as well the points are, were in play, and, uh, but as I think we need time to work the game and to have the confidence with the ball to grow up during the game, and I think we did it. You <coughs> talked a lot about finishing, Ali. Yeah. But the final ball as well, yeah. that seems to be a huge, more than issue for me today, because mm. there weren't many clear chances. Yeah. For you. How big a problem is that for you? The big problem is not create the chances, first of all. And after that, of course, we need to improve the, the, the effectiveness to, to finish better, to be more effective, to be more clinical. But if we, are, if we analyze the game, the, the, the opponent today had two, three clear chances, uh, some of them coming from, from set pieces, other in play. But uh, today they scored one and, and we weren't able to score. It's true. <coughs> we are coming from other game during the week in the FA Cup that happens something even worse because we created 16 shots, we had more clear chances and we didn't concede the, the chances we, we conceded today. It's something we have to improve, but I prefer to, to be calm, work on it and try to solve working because it's the only way we have to do it, working and with the confidence we need to finish better next time. You know Patrick Banker has a leg injury, mm -hmm. but Rocker and Nyonto, you put them on the bench then, why did you change the team around? Because I thought for today it was better, try to put two wingers like Jack and, and Cree and Crescencio, Somerville, and I think it was it was my decision, try to thinking in, in counter, thinking during the game, uh, they will be important as well. Today, my, my think about today was that we will get points during the game, not, from the, not only with the first 11, we, need, we needed all the players to get the points where, where in play. Thank you. Graham? Tommy, do you feel the squad has the necessary goals in them to stay up? We need goals like uh, all the teams. Uh, if, you, if you don't score, you don't win. And uh, we are thinking we have many options. Some players are injured uh, in the next games. I'm sure we have more options as strikers, for example. But uh, I think that the goals 
is not only about if you speak about the goals, it's not only about the strikers. I think all the team has to be uh, ready to to collaborate in 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 scoring, and I'm sure in the future we'll do in the future we'll do it. And how difficult is it to build attacks? <coughs> to build to build attacks mm. if you don't have a natural number nine, a target man. I can tell you it's very difficult or whatever you want, but I have to look for the solution, you know. If you have or you don't have or you have only one <coughs> or two, I try to look for the, the solution. After two Premier League games, if we analyze Premier League games, we score one goal and we've conceded one goal. We need to work on it and if we are not able to score too many goals, then we have to be more compact and more solid to concede less goals. There are quite a few phases in the game. Chelsea's three-man defence had a lot of space to bring the ball out. Your press was not particularly high. Was that a conscious decision? Did you want to give their defenders more space and remain compact? Mm, yeah, we tried to, to, to create the space for counters and uh, knowing Chelsea always is dangerous if he starts from, from the goalkeeper with possession, but at the same time, we were able to defend better with a mid block and creating the space behind to, to attack. When you put a 19 year old on like Matteo Joseph, he's not played a lot in the Premier League. Yeah. What are your instructions to him when he's got, he's got more than 25 minutes on the pitch? Yeah. Expect him to actually affect the game. Yeah, we needed, we needed to change Jorginho, in my opinion, because he was tired and we need fresh leg in that part of the, of the pitch. Uh, fresh players to give to give us the, the, the options to attack, to finish, to be fresh in the last meters. It was my, my decision. Thank you. Phil? Abby, had you intended to start Patrick Banton today? How soon did you know that he was going to be missing from this game? Sorry, can you say um, uh, Had you intended to start Patrick Banton today? When, when did you know that he would be missing from this game? Uh, two days we, the day I was with you in press conference, I knew it. Uh, can I see hands if there's any more questions? Can I yes. just ask you, how did you see the, the end of the game? Because it felt like Chelsea fell back quite a lot and they gave you a lot of territory. Was, was that how you saw it? I think it was because our team did uh, good things to put uh, Chelsea in, in that situation. We tried to, to look for the goal in, uh, through set pieces, from corner kicks, from uh, different different ways, encounters, uh, attacking, in play, but uh, I'm sure they, they, they needed the points and in that moment after many games without getting good results, they were a little bit, uh, I don't know, frightened or I don't know the, the name, you know. Frightened is quite strong. I don't know, I don't know the, 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 the word. Sorry if I, I make a mistake. Okay. Okay. Thank you very uh, much. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Thanks, Abby. Yeah, thank you.